I'm sure the bishops who will go there uh, will be able to engage with each other and uh, share their hopes and dreams and pains and, and wounds. Uh, and it's a time of uh, equipment also for the bishops and for the new bishops. Uh, and also a time of getting to know other people uh, and other bishops from different parts of, of the world and learning about what's going on uh, in the world. It's always encouraging to see the big picture, always uh, encouraging. Uh, I do hope uh, personally, although I am going to retire before uh, the next Lambeth conference, uh, uh, I do hope that the bishops uh, under the leadership of the Archbishop of Canterbury and the Secretary General of the Anglican Communion, they can address the issues that uh, is burning in the hearts of, of people. Uh, and not just leave it or ignore it. They discuss it and, and come together more united than any time before. They would like to see the Anglican Communion coming together uh, and working together and facing together the challenges in the broken world around us now. There is a lot of need in the world uh, and there is a lot of brokenness and wars and wounds and hurts and extremism and the violence and, uh, and we need to be together in facing this all. So I, I think everyone is anticipating that uh, when we come together there will be a, a, a sort of uh, healing for relation.